Back in the shadows of the rooms here at MSU Billings, uh, well, thanks to Aaron Sutton for stopping by to talk MSUB baseball, and uh, we go from the small ball to the larger ball here. Uh, softball, also a sport that uh, has a place here at MSU Billings, and uh, uh, in the fall and in the spring, and uh, some firsts here, Aaron Sutton, first year baseball coach, and first year softball coach Jess Raymond, who tells me she's doing her first interview she thinks <laughs> welcome just to the program hello no pressure no pressure welcome to billings thank you how's how's it treating you so far it's been awesome so far i've only been here a couple months but um i've just really enjoyed it i haven't got to really experience a whole lot of billings but i i've really enjoyed msub and being on campus here so let's talk a little bit about your background five years as an assistant coach at washburn university in topeka kansas how did that prepare you for this? And what intrigued you? Some question I asked Aaron. What did what intrigued you about MSU Billings, and what was your sales pitch to Krista Montague? <laughs> um, well, as far as prepared me, um, Washburn kind of did that just with giving me experience within um, the NCAA Division II, the recruiting process, um, kind of what it took to to eventually prepare myself to be a head coach. Um, and as far as MSUB, I really, the biggest thing was the location. I saw the job open and I knew I wanted to apply because I'm originally from Colorado and it kind of reminds me a lot of home and I like the area. Um, and then as, as far as the school goes, I knew it was a place that I could recruit kids to and, you know, with the smaller class sizes and stuff like that, um, that was a huge part of that. So I've always, in all the years I've covered college sports, I've, I've always appreciated, you know, when assistant coaches become a head coach and just how much of a change that is. Maybe you could talk a little bit about that when you go from that right-hand person to to the big chair. <laughs> it's It's been quite the change. I've, I've really enjoyed it. Um, it's been awesome so far. But I definitely lose a lot more sleep at night. Um, you know, it's a different relationship with the student athletes. Um, when you're an assistant, you can kind of be a little bit more mediator and um, a little bit more involved with them. But as a head coach, you're kind of more of the strict person. And so I've kind of had to change that, that role and, you know, really try to set the tone for them, what I expect my program to be and what I want MSUB softball to be. You're not the good cop anymore. Not the good cop anymore. <laughs> I was always the good cop before, and I'm not not anymore. <laughs> so what kind of transition is that for you personally? Um, I've really enjoyed it. I was ready for it. And, um, you know, I just I was excited for it. And it's nice to be able to do things my way and kind of feel, you know, have a little bit more say. Because when you're an assistant, it's kind of like, well, if she says no to this, then, you know, she says no. But, um here at MSUB, it's kind of like I get the final say on things, so it's kind of nice sometimes. Same question I asked Aaron as a first-year coach. You know, when, when you come in, your first day on the job, where do you start, and what is the what kind of blueprint do you bring with you? Um, I started mostly with trying to get to know the, the team, um, the student athletes. I really wanted to start that connection with them, especially starting in August. Um, it was right into almost getting started with our fall season, and so I wanted to get to know the, the upperclassmen and the ones that were in town so they would stop by and, and that kind of stuff. Um, so I just... Uh, <laughs> um, getting to know the community and getting to know yes. the players. Yep, and then just kind of getting started with the recruiting side of thing, getting my name out there within Montana and, you know, what what type of kids we can recruit into MSUB. I imagine you really hit the ground running. I mean, that there's not a lot of, I mean, and, and I think what a lot of people don't realize is you also have to find a place to live and, yeah. and those <laughs> sorts of things. And so I, I, would, I would imagine it's somewhat frenetic when you're just getting started. Yes, yeah, it was a little bit crazy. It was, um, it was good, though. Um, everything kind of just fell into place, and it, I've had a lot of help um, here on campus with the job and, you know, figuring things out and how things work here at MSUB. I had a lot of help with that, and so that makes it a little bit easier. Now, unlike, you know, your counterpart, Aaron, who is coming into a program that has really built some momentum, this is a program that has struggled for, for a bit here. And uh, so, you know, I wouldn't be fair probably to say you're starting on the ground floor, but um, something of a rebuilding task here. So where do you begin? Um, you know, I think... 
MSUB, we have, there's a lot of talent. Um, there's definitely a lot of talent here, and I think, you know, we just we just need to be consistent. And so I'm really focusing on trying to be consistent on the defensive end, offensive end, um, base running, you know, all three aspects of that part of the game. Um, and so when it comes to our rec recruiting, we're looking for kids that are going to be be consistent and you know help to build that solid tradition of what it takes to be an MSUB softball player. Now, do you think long term? Um, are you thinking we're gonna we're gonna recruit in a way that helps us win this spring? Um, no, we're looking more long term. We probably won't bring any any in um, recruiting wise for this spring. Um, we have a lot of talent this year. Um, you know, it's just especially offensively, we just. I mean, I was so impressed with them this this fall with our offensive side of things. And we've talked just about the defensive side of the game and making sure we're staying focused on that part of it. But we have a lot of talent. It's all there. It's just, you know, and I think they're really hungry to be successful. So we do have a great group. It's just going to be continuing to, you know, bring in those big hitters and um, those kids that can play solid defense for us in the future. And so where do you go to find great softball players? Um, you know, we were talking to Kevin Wooden. It's pretty fertile ground for women's basketball players here. But how is it for softball in Montana? And do you have to spread your wings a little bit to really get the talent here? Um, there's definitely a lot of talent here in Billings. Um, we've looked in Missoula. I think I want to stay in state and try to get those kids that are from Montana. Um, it's always awesome to have kids that are stay in local and are locally from here. Um, you know, we're kind of looking in you know the Washington, California, Colorado area as well. I think you with some of the kids you, or student athletes you have to go um, out of that range a little bit and but I definitely want to stay locally and recruit those Billings Montana because there is a lot of a lot of talent around here for sure. Same question I asked Aaron are there some pockets where the, the talent are and I imagine Billings is pretty good because we probably have the best weather and, and all around <laughs> landscape plus population, but the, are there, you know, other areas of the state that are fairly strong? Uh, yeah, I think Billings is probably one of the, the strongest. Um, as far as, I think, Bozeman, there's some good talent coming out of there, too, and then Missoula as well. So um, just Great Falls as well. I've heard a lot of good things about some um, student athletes out there, so I'm excited to get out and watch, you know, these high school teams throughout the state. So... Before we let you go, maybe you just describe the, uh, what, what kind of culture do you want to bring to the program and what is your coaching style? Um, I definitely think just bringing a championship culture and I think it's just winning in all aspects uh, um, on the softball field and off the softball field. Um, just building that structure of, you know, um, them enjoying their experience here and their playing experience, but being successful and preparing them for the real life after softball. So, all right, Jess Raymond, you hit it out of the park. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks a lot. We'll do it again sometime. Thank you.